Hello everyone, this is uh, Mr. Rios and uh, for this particular tutorial what we're going to do is to learn how to uh, change the appearance of our color graph in Microsoft Excel 2010 and for that uh, what we do is that first we have already our table with information we're going to use and well we first select in this case uh, the prices for the first item which is going to be the Doritos um, we got to insert, we got a column, then we select the first option, and we have um, already our chart right here. Now uh, we're missing some few things here, as uh, we reviewed in our previous tutorial about how to add information to our chart. So we're going to do that very quickly. We'll go first to layout, and we will go to chart title, above chart, and we're going to write title. In this case, the title of my chart is going to be um, Doritos, because that's the, the item I'm dealing with right now. Then we go to access title. We're going to put the access title down here. This is going to be the stores where we will buy the Doritos and um, then the other access title we're going to choose a rotate title and we're going to write uh, the cost of it and uh, okay here's this one two three we need to change that so we will go here oh, before we do that, we want the outside and data label so we know what each column represents. Then the design, we go to select data, we to go to edit, and what we want is the name of the stores. So that's okay. There we go. And we have all information we need. Now we need this chart to be on a separate spreadsheet, so what we do is that we right click, go to move chart and we reselect a new sheet and then we just click OK and there we go we have already our spreadsheet with the chart now um, we want to change the background of uh, the the chart so we go to plot area here in the layout to the more plot area options we go to fill this option here, right here, and then we put solid. But as we do, sorry, uh, we put picture, then from file, and we look for our Doritos image right here. We insert the Dorito image, we close it, and there we have it as part of the background. Now um, we need to have every single column with a different color, the color according to the store. So we're going to use for target red, and let me click here, double click here, and let's uh, change the color to solid. Red is a good color for target. And let's change the color for Walmart. Walmart is kind of like blue, but I don't like this blue, so we'll try to look for a better blue for Walmart. So, um, there's this one. And, well, you probably can't see the difference, but to me it's a bit different. And for Amazon, let's look for orange, because Amazon is kind of like black with orange. So, I'm going to change it to orange, this orange. So there we have. Now, um, as final detail for our chart, what we're going to do is that we're going to put the logo of each of the stores right here. So for that, you're going to go to Internet Explorer. Right to go to um, Google Images and uh, on Google Images just type, for example, um, uh, uh, um, Target logo to get the logos from Target. All right, let's just get this one. I usually like to work with a full size image. You copy this, go back to Excel, and um, you paste to make it small enough as it for it to fit inside and there you go so we will do the same thing for Walmart we go here right Walmart we get different logos for Walmart 
you pick the one that you like the best. Uh, I like Danny. That's okay. So let's see the full size image first. Then uh, copy. Let's go back to Excel. And paste. And we're gonna put it pretty small. Very small. So it fits in here. And we're missing one. We're missing Amazon. So let's look for Amazon. Amazon. And that's it. Uh, I'll, I think I'll just get this one. Copy it. Go again to Excel. Paste it. Make it small enough to fit into the column. And that's it. We're done. We already have our column graph with the background image with logos on top of every single column, every single column with a different color and the rest of the information. And you can see that in this case we're keeping the series options here because every series shows every single column right here. Alright, so this is everything for this time. Thank you for watching. Bye.